masturbating. Like the images that are in my mind while I'm masturbating, it's actually poetry. But why is sex such a part of your poetry? Because poetry is a party and sex is pleasure and pleasure is a party. another poem about uh, uh, Prague and the Czech Republic. It's a country in Europe. <laughs> uh, it's on Haya. Has anyone been to Haya before? It's at the end of the red line. Uh, I love that place. I will spend five days of the week there. I know everybody. On the red line, I am, my hands crossed across the hard hat man who stands in the doorway of the subway. Hi, eh, you foreign pavilion. I am in love with the soft parts of your concrete, your gobbled asphalt, your endless darkness in the lonely nighttime woe. And all day long you slag your morning thump in the underground nonsense. And I, another mirage visage. Not anywhere but here in the metro car the woman with the red scarf did not go into. Do you know me? Her, him, me? Do you know I? What is your voice like when the people have finally gone home? Are you listening? Hi, eh? I want to feel you as the voice that you are. Hi, eh? How can I know you? Are you near? Hollowed commuters moog to the cloak nook of the Monday beats. All their jackets hung off shoulders of their mean mugging whiskey still smelling Sunday wigs. And here, I am. As I do, going forever in hallways under shopping malls, getting to know all of your Hayes, Hodoffs, Hopatoffs, just to be the strolling suit I have waited to show you. Everything you could ever want exists here in this metro, exists in the faces of the hard hat men who go home to and smoke their vitals, get soft in bed as dog with stick in mouth. Do you know these men, Haye? Are you listening? I listen for you to tell me and loiter endlessly. With ears out, tongues in my pockets too. No money to go home to. What do you know about the hard hat man? The woman with the red scarf who did not go into the metro car? Do you know where I am going? Haye, are you listening? Object Paradise is a great ongoing endeavor to keep the Prague literary scene afloat. Oh kid, I am beat! Today in the line at the post office, this woman in front of me was wearing a tight ripped black dress. I could see her spine all the way from her neck to her ass. It was like a trail to the front of the line. Your scoliosis is beautiful. I forgot the rest. Oh, kid, I am beat. That's a great answer. And what night is it tonight? And where are we? It's like yeah. we are in the universe. <laughs> it's a Friday night in Shishkov, baby. It's a Friday.
vypnout se do sametu, nandat si ramínka a myslet si, že tvoje vzpomínka na to krásné nahé tělo nikdy neumře, ačkoliv by si mohl klidně. I need, I need to be hit. I am a trash collector. I'm a trash collector. American breakfast, July 19th, in a diner which also sold Advil and Tylenol. 2019. 68% humidity. New York City. I saw a naked woman and heard for the first time the trash can lid hitting the ground sound. By way, that's like, what could I get you? Yeah, and the guy's like, uh, could I have, uh, I would like some some coffee, but without cream. The waiter's like, all right, sure. You know, it's a very fancy restaurant. The waiter's like, yeah, sure, sure. Goes back, you know, behind the counter, does his waiter thing. The guy sits there, waits, contemplates life. The waiter comes back, it's like, I'm really sorry, sir, but we're all out of cream. Can it be without milk? The choice is here. To mobilize now, or sink, die, and go extinct in this male communal urban malls eat fossil fuel. So please, what's happening all the time? I don't know, but I'm there for it. <laughs> wow. Florida. I am jumping in the neon December light, bopping to ambiguous teeth chatter asking how you are. And the man in the hallway devouring a beef sandwich does not know at what time the orgy is. Florida, you grumbling Scrooge, I want to impress you. Wear your clothes and let you undress me. Make the man unfold his tabloid just below the eyes and watch in secret jealousy. Florida, I am wandering still, here with my hands outside my pockets, grabbing your empty body, crying into your breast. And the lone Russian woman is there with her chin down, all tall and black hair. I want to wear your evening jacket, stay rather silent, and kick the lone aluminum can home. Flora, I am twirling on the platform. The man, the woman, and you are watching in ambiguous open eyes, and I am asking again in the December teeth chatter how you are. How is everything important if you're a poet and you want to write a poetry? You always need your notebook, you always need your pen, but the most important thing is your hat. You can wear it like this, like this. But if you want to be like a proper poet, you need to wear the hat like this. And then you have to go to the mirror like, Oh fuck, God, I'm so good looking. The horror of the metro, I wore her under the whole way home. We had some lovely talk, states exams, girls, the future. And then the appetizers came. So sweet. How does the process of writing look like? Always have a paper and pen with you. Always! Always, even in the bathroom. Oh. Where, where is your pen in your notebook now? It's in my pocket, of course. Yeah, okay. But it's uncomfortable to show me it right now. Yeah, exactly. But it is it's there, in your it's pocket. It's there, it's there. 
Uh, so because <laughs> like I'm I'm mostly a poet. I mostly write poetry, and poetry isn't. It's mostly irrational in the good sense. Oh, okay, so I'm uh, cleaning, tonight I'm cleaning two pillars of rice, kind of to pay homage to my grandmother, who I don't really remember, although she lived um, throughout the quite large portion of my life. Um, all I remember is that she really cleaned her eyes thoroughly, so she would sit for hours and just uh, look at every grain if it's worthy enough to be cooked. So I'm kind of recreating this. Um. <laughs> Once in a lifetime opportunity, guys. Above English, Dorothy's English skyline, just lying amply across your shoulders from the first time I saw you. I want to be replaced by the flower vase. that at 14 I loved it. I kept asking my parents what was happening. In the world, they didn't know. They got drunk a lot. You learn the most about people with listening to them tell stories you've heard them tell before. Father said, anything is possible with interns. He explained symbolism of chipped tooth in the dentist chair, dad culture. Saturday morning cartoons played in her head. Cell phones then did not fit in her pocket. Moms were girls too. At 17, Merve Pinar taught me how to say fuck her until she dies in three different languages. She licked Tootsie Pops in one bite and kissed like melting vanilla ice cream. At 18, I stole a cigarette from the casino ashtray of an Indian who struck it big. There were broken mirrors in the back room of the sex shop by us advice at. Sarah took her vitamins with her birth control. I wrote her name on breakfast diner receipts. There were many places in America to see. On the weekends, I discussed breakfast with friends at breakfast. Ben said, try not to cry at the orgy. At 19, a do-rag and a skateboard pulled three bags of acid from lawnmower sneakers. I put Emily's freckles into my pocket and stumbled the cemetery river and threw rocks towards Paluto's tombstones, carving in them, we still love you. The next morning, rolling over with a yoga mat for a blanket, a sledgehammer for a girlfriend, we tattooed the sound transit. Man stays drunk for 25 years to avoid the hangover. At 20, the woman who did not love me said she did and I loved it. What I mean is that I was coming down off ecstasy and had woken up still horny. She was in a miniskirt lying underneath me and I asked her if she had seen my yo-yo. Cell phones still did not fit in women's pockets. One, that's fucked up. Two, that's a great way to make money. At 21, I asked the cop if he had Facebook on that thing and told him it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me who drove the car through the jack-in-the-box backwards. Oh no. And from my living room, in the picture frame above my head, I held Bernie Sanders and cried like a liberal, telescoping utopia. Oh no. I cut math class and cried in the back row on a lecture of modernism. The single woman passed me a note that insisted we should attempt to raise young. What I mean is that at 22, I left America, leaving behind the legal Washingtons, extreme Carolinas, the woman I loved who was my mother, misplacing the Oxford deliberately. The hairs had been growing from my head and they needed to. 
Grandfather said, You'll be close to them over there. He smoked five cigarettes and all of his fingers and bought new teeth off eBay. I knew America was taking off her clothes and I was cold. After all, she had been wearing red in Pantone 2350C and drank 499 coffee at 499 in the morning. I wore her dress, looked like my mother when she looked like a boy. Fantastic, but alone. $600 euros, big wig at red eye, all of that on the tarmac. At 24, I was mugged in punch by a prostitute who loved me and I let her do it. She was twirling on the platform in rain that was noon. She was beautiful and I could describe her face. She meant it. What I mean is that the doctor said I was in the museum for the blind. I had ran into the Michelangelo, felt the honesty of marble and concrete, all love struck and rhetoric. I counted all 50 states of America on 10 fingers while emptying the bean can in the kitchen, fantastic and alone. She was naked and red-handed, two fists full of everything I could be. At 25, the sky as I could see it surrounded its dark, betumping arms across the horizon. And what I mean is that she was so close, I almost let her take my hand. Gun, 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 they come for the girls. Gun, 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 they're banging your wife. Gun, 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 they want the world. I know how to do two songs in the same time.
Miss Winker. I am writing from the building next door in concern for your business and the state of your store. Miss Winker, I am writing in regards to the recent overgrown allotment that has found itself at the entrance of your door. Miss Winker, I would be surprised if you do not know me, though am aware I am the boy who buys eggs at eight, beer at six, and should you know me as that, I would not digress. Miss Winker, to whom this letter is for, I am writing because when I enter your store, you do not acknowledge me nor the expressions on my face despite our relationship. Miss Winker, I do not know your name either, to which I would hope you would understand. Though, Miss Winker, this correspondence, this letter to you, is to suggest that the state of your bananas are molded, and though I have tried to point this out to you, I did not want to interrupt you. You always count my money twice. Miss Winker, I would never cheat you. I am concerned of your well-being. It is dark in there and smells of off fish. Miss Winker, you must let the delivery driver know of the situation we are in. Miss Winker, I really think we could work this out. I have been thinking of the beans I bought, which were off for a month, and Miss Winker, I thought you should know that it really takes a long time for beans to go bad, and perhaps this letter finds you well. Perhaps you have a nice home you go to or a favorite bar you stop in at. Miss Winker, I can suggest the all-night diner on 4th and Sycamore. The Hollandaise is made in-house, though I do not know if you are vegan. And before I go, Miss Winker, I would like to follow up on our conversation the other day when I said thank you and good day and you did not look towards me. Did you hear me? Is everything okay at home? Your family, yourself, do you have someone who turns off the lights? I am concerned that you are neglecting the cobwebs behind the wine rack. Looking that way, women on red chairs so complacently delicate with shopping list finished. So beautiful, winner at it. It's the talking day out there, the commotion of all the crowd of worn out bronzes. I recently discovered the brown marmoted stink bug in the Czech Republic. It was the first documentation of the brown marmoted stink bug. I've already updated the Wikipedia page about it. and running jewel. Hello, hello. Hop, 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 everything. Hop, hop, happening once again. The gigantic universe galactic, the city as naked breast, is out now and shaped like Antarctica's melting mountains. Look.
walks his owner home down low, low avenue. The cars, the broom. And I was trotting cobble in my new shoes, all garden mosaic like. Yardimer Lilac in the patio set for two. Hey, you! What are you selling? What you got? Let me get one of those smoke things. How much for two? You know, for old Juniper, and her crickets and all, got real keen with landlady, all locked up in rhetoric in my bedroom, and got all real in my head, you know. All my busted booze broke that window, you see, all swollen, swing full of bat. And here we are. You can see it. My building, that old top floor. And why be there when I can be here, perhaps, now? The moon has taken off her blouse. And I am full resolute youth, dreaming of little Italy and offer romantic dinners with her. Ah, these streets. The fire escape and her dress. The leaning rust on her beautiful building. Hop, 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 hop in. Get out of your chair. The old slow town is opening her beautiful resting elbow at sunset, oh boy, how hungry I've been eating out of cans, and there's some mean mug lad jazzing his hand, jazzing his horn, down on the down, down.